Today we're going to be talking about currency converters and these are especially useful if you are selling internationally. You want to make sure that your potential buyers are able to see your prices in their home currency so they can understand how expensive or how cheap your products are in order to allow them to make that purchase and make that potential customer a conversion. So if you go to the Shopify app store, type in currency converter, there are a number of different currency converters out there. And they have some pros and cons. I'm going to show you three that are kind of the, the three types. There's free, there's what I like to call hybrid, which, you know, you get some services for free, other services are paid for, and then full on, you know, monthly paid currency converters. The first one we're going to look at is auto multi currency converter by conversion bear. And this is actually a very good one because it's very easy to set up and there is no monthly fee to it. It is 100% free. There are no hidden costs or anything like that. It, it just, uh, it's really, really great to use. The next one we're going to take a look at is Best Currency Converter. This is by uh, Grizzly Apps. Now this is what, uh, what I was referring to in terms of a hybrid. Uh, you know, they, they provide you certain services for free and then the other services are you know on a monthly plan so you can start to see the differences between them most notably the auto switch function for customers locations so the app will try to identify where a customer actually is and then actually try to convert the currency so that it displays it in their local currency last one we're going to look at is swap currency converter and this is by blaze applications so this is a it's a 6.99 per month and it has a, a lot of the, the same features of the other ones. Uh, the one thing to note is that this is updated in terms of its exchange rates every minute. So when you pay for more, you sometimes get more. At the same time, if you're just starting out, honestly, with some of the free ones are, are good. Just make sure you take a look and detail look into what the apps provide you. Taking a look at our dummy store, I've just installed the, the free app that we we're looking at. And you can see that I've set it up so it's at the top right here and I can switch between the different currencies and as I do, the, the prices get updated. You can also see that the prices are rounded up to, you know, $1.99. Uh, that is something that I set up within the app. So let's take a look at some of the features of a good currency converter app. So here we go, we have the auto multi-currency converter. Uh, if we scroll down here, we can see that there's a lot of different options. I can show this in multiple different formats like I have right now, or I could show it like this. I could show it as a, you know, more of a, a circle with the flags, or I could just have it as a dollar sign and, you know, switch around with things like that. It's also convenient to know that this has a separate thing for mobile. So if we look at mobile and you had this on your phone, uh, you might want to place it, you know, at the bottom left as opposed to the top right for your desktop. Another nice feature about this particular app is that you can do custom padding around your placement. So this allows you to actually move the, the location of the currency converter app. So you can see like right now, it's kind of a little bit in front of these buttons here. I mean, I just slapped this into my, my demo store, but if I wanted to, I could move this around, perhaps move it more to the right, move it more to the left, just out of the way of my other interactables that I have there. The last main thing that I'd like to mention is how you can round up your different prices to either, you know, the $1.99 or you can simply remove the decimal points and you, you can adjust this. Maybe you want it to send it to like, you know, 50 cents, you know, is the what you round it to. I'm going to leave it at 99 for now. Once you've made all those changes, you can just click save. So all the apps that we've we've taken a look at all have similar features in those regards. You might want to take a look at some of the reviews and see the different pros and cons of the different stores there and, and just see how people are actually reacting to it. And, uh, you know, any of the negative reviews, you know, what what is wrong with this app sort of thing. One last thing to note for currency converters is regardless of whatever currency converter you get, when you go to checkout, the currency is going to switch over back to the default currency of the store. So you can see that now since I'm viewing things in British pounds and I click it on buy now, it goes from $19.99 to $34 Canadian as you can see here. And this is part of Shopify. You have very, very limited control over the coding and customization of the checkout. And that is for security reasons on Shopify side of things. There is actually no currency converter available to edit this in checkout. The only way you can edit this would be if you are a Shopify plus store 
which means you're paying, you know, thousand dollars, couple thousand dollars per month for your plan. So there you go. There's all you need to know about currency converter apps. I hope that helped you a lot. Catch you next time. Looking to improve your store? Hire a geek. We offer individual store optimizations, one-on-one -on -one training, as well as workshops. Check out the description below for more information.